Paramedic Jesus Contreras headed to work and hasn't stopped helping his neighbors since. He's a Texan, after all. Just look at the tattoo. He's also undocumented, a so-called dreamer brought here by his mom when he was six. We're literally on the ground helping people get back up, and we're getting our, you know, our butts handed to us by, by, by people you know, upstairs in, in the White House and, and the president. President Trump will decide by Tuesday what will happen to dreamers like Contreras. More than 780,000 of them, all protected by DACA, an Obama-era program that lets them work and go to school here for now. Should dreamers be worried? We love the dreamers. We love everybody. But nine states are threatening to sue if the program is not canceled by Tuesday. Multiple government officials tell NBC News President Trump's leaning toward ending the program. But White House sources say some in the West Wing worry about doing so now, in the aftermath of Harvey, with people in Texas and Louisiana struggling. Two states, home to an estimated 126,000 DACA participants. Some Republican lawmakers say this decision should not be made from the Oval Office. For Contreras, Tuesday's announcement can't come soon enough. What's the president's message to Jesus? This president is a president that loves people, and um, we are working on the best decision possible. Having that extra burden of having your future toyed with and argued around, um, like it's just some sort of political move, um, we're not here to do anything but work and give back to the community. At home in Houston, watching Washington...